To create a graph in Mido, click on the Graph button in the Mido toolbar. Now we just have to add some data. We'll add the date to the y to the x-axis and the high of the Tesla stock prices to the y-axis. Now we've created our first Plotly graph. This graph, because it's Plotly, is default interactive, and later we'll see how we can actually access the Plotly code and make more manipulations. Each graph in Mido is its own tab in the Mido footer. You can switch back to your original data set, switch back to the graph, and continue working just as you normally would. We have a number of different chart types that we can select. Um, bar charts, line charts, scatter, scatter plots are just a couple of them. And all of these, again, are Plotly graph types. After we've created the base kind of structure for our graph, we can go in and style the graph. Let's rename the title and say Tesla stock prices. Let's change the, we can leave the x-axis as is. Let's change the y-axis to price. If you're a Mito Pro user, you can also change the color of various aspects of the chart. Let's change the title color to bright red, for example, to really draw your attention. You also have access, you, you also have the ability to hide different access labels, hide this range slider, and change the background color of the graph as well if you're a Mito Pro user. Now that we're happy with the graph, we can export it. You can either export the graph code directly or you can download it as a PNG. Here, I'll show you how to copy the graph code. So now that we've copied the graph code, we can add a new cell and copy all of the Plotly graph code directly into the Mito sheet, or directly into JupyterLab. Now, if we run the generated code that Mito has created and run the Plotly code, we have the same exact chart in our JupyterLab notebook. Because this is all valid Plotly code, you can make any manipulations that you want directly to the code. For example, if you wanted to change the grid lines of, of the chart, that's not something that you can currently do in Mito, but it is something that you can do by accessing the Plotly documentation and editing the code directly.